Ladies and gentlemen, please, please, please don't be alarmed. What you are about to see on the YouTube screen here is real. It is real advanced sheet metal with Autodesk Inventor 2010. Do not concern yourself with the three guys trying to look over your shoulder. There's a short one, a fat one, and an old one that rides a bicycle. All they're trying to do is figure out what's making you a digital prototyper. Somebody who's on the leading edge of your industry. Well, don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. What we have to offer here and what you are about to see is truly groundbreaking. So without further ado, I give to you Mr. Rob Cohey, Industry Solution Evangelist for Autodesk Manufacturing. See what happens when I get a hold of a bunch of WAV files. Anyway, welcome to another episode of Rob Unscripted. This episode brought to you by the sensor uh, because you're about to see some cool sh**. And the first of it, guys, it's butter. I mean, it's just absolute butter. So take a look at this. We're going to model up this kitchen hood here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I've got my two sketches here laid out. And they're two closed sketches. It can be closed profiles or open profiles. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to say I want a diaform lofted flange between these two sketches. And bam, check that out. It automatically puts in the corner reliefs that, that's required for that particular manufacturing technique. I hit OK. I flip it around. I need to put a crease in here because I need to be able to unfold this thing. So my new rip command, I'll just grab the face, grab a sketch point, and bam, I've got the rip. And just like that, I'm able to create a lofted flange that I can flatten out. How do you like those apples? Anyway, we ought to see if this thing's even manufacturable. So let me check with Jay real quick. Rob, hi, it's Jay. Um, I just got the uh, dwarf file, uh, the drawing of the hood. And uh, I took a look at it, and uh, I see that you're uh, on some of these contours. You uh, looks like you want to do a die form, but uh, at the same time, you said you wanted it like today. Um, my initial reaction is, are you absolutely out of your mind? Do you have any idea how long it takes to machine a die for something like this? Uh, if you need it today, your best bet is to do it on the press break. Uh, and my suggestion would be to use as few facets as possible uh, for both, both aesthetic purposes and uh, you know, essentially to make our job easier uh, when it comes to manufacturing this thing. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. J. Tedeschi. And we shall give crazy guy in the crowd what he wants. So, Jay is absolutely right. Um, you know, I, it would have been very difficult to get a die for that. And, uh, you know, with, with my ability to bounce back and forth between um, press break or die formed right within the same command, I'm really able to uh, to address the specific need uh, once it arises. So, all right, well, what else we got here in store? Well, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create um, the uh, the exhaust pipe for this for this hood. And I'm going to do so using similar commands. So here I've got two, uh, two of the same profiles, but uh, you know, again, I can still use that lofted flange to create the uh, um, the initial pipe out of this uh, out of this exhaust. So again, use the same thing. Uh, rip it down. Give me that uh, that rip there so I can unfold it. And then what I want to do next is I want to, let's just say I want to do a joggle in here. I, I need to create some sort of offset, uh, possibly for some interference. And I'm going to use a new command here um, that I really think you're going to appreciate. So I've sketched out uh, a couple, my profile uh, as well as a line that's going to represent a bend radius. Okay, And you'll see here why in just a second. So I'll change that line type then to a, to a center line type. So that uh, the new feature here uh, automatically remembers it, or picks it up as a um, as a center line for for a, for a roll. So what you were going to see here, da da da, is now the new command contour rolling. So here, uh, you know contour roll is really a hybrid between the uh, creation of a flange uh, and a revolve command. So I grab my profile, I grab my axis, I tell it the angle that I want, and there I've got my contour roll. I'm going to create another one here. So it basically, I wanted a 45 one way and then a 45 in another way. So again, uh, sketch out the, uh, the the profile, grab that as a center line, 
and do my contour roll. So I just grab my profile, grab my center line, and bam, I'm rolling just like that. Now, another nice thing about Inventor and in our sheet metal tools is we have the ability to bounce back and forth between uh, traditional modeling techniques and uh, sheet metal modeling techniques. And as long as we don't break sheet metal rules, we can continue to use features like the extrude. So there I just grabbed the top profile, projected all the cut edges, and uh, extruded it out a specific distance. And that's still a, a, a sheet metal part. I didn't break any sheet metal rules, right? So now the dramatic turn that you saw there uh, was something that I'm going to show you. Is, this is this is just awesome. I'm going to go ahead and unfold this. So right within the 3D model, I'm going to unfold this. So in that case, I actually unrolled it. So we understand the difference between unfolding and unrolling. So here I needed to unroll uh, unroll it so that I can put say maybe you know some sort of uh, sniff stiffener <laughs> sniffer stiffener uh, in here. Uh, as as a punch, so I'll go up and grab my punch tool, and you can create punch tools out of, out of just about any you know anything that you would use uh, a punch for. So uh, place the profile in there and rotate around a little bit, and as you can see, it it is indeed uh, deformation, uh, just as as it would if it were punched. And as I look at this, uh, you know I can see that I, I've got a I've got a gap on there, and um, yeah, I want to. I'm going to go ahead and throw a flange over that so I can I can get a nice uh, nice tight seal on this. Now, you old school, uh, <laughs> old school, yeah, the older guys uh, in the crowd possibly, uh, the, the more seasoned vets from uh, from the inventor days will remember this old trick. Here, I'll um, I'm going to grab a flange. Uh, I'm going to go and uh, tell it to go the old method of design and change my flange angle to zero degrees and check that out. I have a nice little lip. So. If I hit OK here, now what you're going to see here is, is you know, in the past, and, and <laughs> certainly uh, uh, not too, too long ago, if I had a seam there, you know, intermeshing solids, I, there was no way I could possibly unfold this. But wait. So before we get to that, I'm going to go ahead and refold the feature. So you notice that I use the unfold, and I find it in the feature tree. I refold it, and automatically know, knew which one to uh, re-roll. Take a look at the the nice deformation there. I flatten it out, and you'll notice that it broke that seam for me, uh, and it's all hunk and do hunky dory. Uh, that, ladies and gentlemen, is the uh, the giggity giggity uh, of uh, of some of our advanced sheet metal techniques. I uh, really hope you enjoyed this one. Please, as always, feel free to uh, make requests, add comments. I always look forward to your feedback. Take care, guys.